Hi there guys and welcome to Graded Gem. This is the first of our March returns and what a returns it is. There was a bit of a gap between the Feb and the March returns. However, we will now have videos uh, coming onto the channel again, which is great. Uh, but anyhow, let's get into this one. So first, uh, I thought we'd showcase Joe's cards, uh, Joe, otherwise known as Pokemon Sphere on Instagram, please go and follow. The reason for that is because we have a few different cards in here, uh, might give some submitters ideas of what they want to send to PSA. Uh, and the first one is Professor Quirrell from Dragon... Uh, Diagon Alley, there you go, for some reason I literally called it Dragon Alley then, that was a bit silly, as you can see, something very different, how very cool is that, uh, foil from the Harry Potter series, uh, and that got the Mint 9, then we move on to the Venusaur Hollow Foil Top Sun, how many times we, these are becoming more and more popular, the gems are incredibly expensive, just the Nimit 8 on this one though, um, Again, we're moving on to something completely different. So you've got the Charizard sticker from Series 1. Uh, how very cool is that? I reckon, you know, it'd be cool to see more submittance sending in random stuff, not just cards. I mean, I like it when we got the Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Magic the Gathering, but these are even more unique. Uh, the Mint 9 on the normal Holofoil Charizard. Your Sunnaby Sky Ridge Reverse Foil also getting that beautiful Mint 9 grade. Then the Flareon EX from Radiant Collection, getting them in nine. Psychic Energy Secret from Sun and Moon with the Gem Mint 10. Same goes with Professor Elm's Lecture on Lost Thunder, the most expensive card from Lost Thunder with Cyndaquil, Totodile and Chikorita. Chilling in that card, really nice artwork, let's be honest. Gem Mint 10. Then we have the Shining Lugia, which also got the Gem Mint 10, the S, uh, SM82 Sun and Moon promo. And last but not least, we have this beautiful, I just remembered, there are something called lights. And lights do help out the video. Um, and we will just end on this absolutely gorgeous Reggie Steel. Can I make it do it in the... There we go, how cool is that? Advanced action flips. Um, yeah, so guys, you can send these sorts of things into PSA and they will grade them. This one especially is very cool and it did also get that Gem Mint 10 grade. Thank you very much, Joe, as always. Uh, and please do go follow Pokemon underscore Sphere. Next up is Michael, Michael from uh, Germany. Uh, he's sending quite a bit recently, and this is a 20 card order. And we're going to start off with Misty's Tears, one of the banned promos uh, in English. Um, obviously, it's a naked Misty, very popular with collectors, who knows why. Uh, and then we do have the City Gym Deck version, which also got actually the Gem Mint 10. Very cool indeed. Uh, got two of these, in fact, so two Gem Mint 10s, very well done there. Then we had some No Symbol Jungle, a little favourite set of mine. I've got the Mint 9 set sitting away in my vault. Uh, so we got two Snorlaxes with the Nimin 8. The Jolteon also achieving the Nimin 8 grade. Again, a get met, they like the No Symbol Nimin 8. Uh, then we have a Dragonite Fossil First Edition Nimin 8, absolute beauty of a holofoil. Your Togetic from Aquapolis got the Nimin 7 this time around, unfortunately. Bit harsh if you're just looking at the back. Um, I won't look at the front now on video because it slows the video up a little bit. But there we go, a Shining Kabutops Unlimited Neo Destiny Mint 9. That's exactly what we want to see. And then, of course, we do have a Red Pikachu Mint 9, unfortunately. Uh, Sabrina, I don't know why I moved them away there. Please don't ask why. Uh, Sabrina's Alakazam Holofoil. Then we've got Sabrina's Gaze. Two of those Gem Mint 10. Again, these were banned because it looks like she's swearing at the uh, player. So two of those Gem Mint 10. And then I think now we do just have a load of reds, Pikachus. Yes, we do. So we got one Mint 9 out of seven and six gem mint tens. Uh, so congratulations, Michael. I think that was a really good submission overall. Now we move on to Boris. Uh, Boris is from Croatia and he sent in some very high-end cards. And we're going to start off with the Gyarados base set first edition with that near mint 8 grade. What a beautiful card though. Look at that shine. Absolutely wonderful. Near mint 8 dark Blastoise with the mint 9 first edition from Team Rocket. Then we have the dark Charizard from Team Rocket 2. 
Team Rocket 2. That sounds like a second expansion. Um, then we have Blaine's Charizard Holofall first edition. I still need this Charizard in Gem Mint 10. Um, and I, I go to buy it every few months. And every time I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I really do just need to click that buy it now button. Erica's Venusaur first edition Mint 9. Giovanni's Mashamp also getting the Mint 9 grade. It is quite a bit of a trend with your submission, uh, which I think is fine. Um, don't get me wrong. We always like a few Gem Mint 10s, but I would always prefer a load of Mint 9s over a load of Gems and then near Mint 8. Um, Mint 9 and Koga's Ditto. And then I said you did get two gems. And that is, of course, these beautiful promos, your Psyduck and your Rowlet. So congratulations, Boris, out of your 10 cars. I think you've done really well. Really, really well indeed. Yannick is next, otherwise known as PSA underscore gem underscore wizard on Instagram. Please do go and hit that follow button because he has got an even better collection than me. And anyone who has that has got my respect, to be honest with you. Uh, Dark Dragonite, we start off with a first edition holofoil. This card wasn't actually sent in for grading. It was mislabeled. So we got it recased and labeled up for him. If you are a user of the service and you do have a mislabeled card or PSA has made a mistake, let us know and we can sort it out for you free of charge um, that is just to users of the service though otherwise don't just send me your card if you've never used graded gem in the nicest way possible um, Umbreon uh, first edition from Neo Discovery what a beauty with the moon in the back line I think it's it, for me it's got to be the best Umbreon artwork there's not really too much there's loads of competition but I think this stands above the rest um, Espeon is next with the Mint 9 grade. Absolutely stunning card. Um, then we've got his all-time favourites. That is the Houndooms. So for those who don't know, Yannick has a massive personal collection of Houndooms. First edition Neo Revelations in different sorts of grades, but loads of gems. Uh, this one was the closest with the Mint 9 grade. Not a gem, unfortunately. Uh, your German base set first edition, though. Quapo did receive that gem Mint 10 grade that we're all chasing, as did the Mew 2. Um, gem Mint 10, absolutely stunning another houndoom from near revelation with the near mint 8 grade wobbuffet with the mint 9 look at that very 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 cool um neo discovery mint 9 polytoad neo genesis mint 9 togetich and last but not least, we have the Sloking as a Mint 9 as well. Uh, so just a load of Mint 9s on the first edition Watsy card so far. But thanks as always, Yannick. Um, and these will be with you soon. Cine is next, otherwise known as Exini on Instagram. Definitely go and give her a follow because, my goodness, she always has beautiful, beautiful cards. Artworks are always extraordinary, believe me. Um, and we're going to start off with a Gem Mint 10, a Latios and a Latias GX. Cine was a bit unlucky on the last time around, but I think we've done a lot better this time. Uh, so we've got the Flygon with the EX Dragon Stamp winner. Look at that. <laughs> really cool. Um, a load of nine tails from Team Up Holofoil. Cindy just likes to send in artworks, not necessarily about the value. And look at that. It really is cool, especially when it gets to the Gem Mint 10. Um, I mean, very nice indeed. Uh, then we do have a Psyduck a Munch Promo Gem Mint 10. The Eevee, unfortunately, just got the Mint 9. Unfortunate. But your Rowlet did get the Gem Mint 10 grade. Full Art Ho-Ho from Ultra Shiny GX. We'll be seeing a lot more of these in the other March returns, believe me. Um, not just the Ho-Ho, I mean all of Ultra Shiny. Uh, Rayquaza GX is next, Gem Mint 10. Charizard from Tag Bolt, looking very angry indeed, kicking out someone. Then we got the other Latias, Latios and Latias GX. Registeel EX from First Edition Season Sub Promo Gem Mint 10. That's a really good card. That. Uh, then you got the Plus All 2000 Experience Points Promo Play Promo Gem Mint 10 again. Strange one. This I'm not going to lie. Latios and Latias GX Gem Mint 8. Luckily the value on it isn't too much, but I'd imagine you pulled this yourself. But yeah, just got a Gem Mint 8 on that one. However, let's forget about that because the Hyper Rare did come back with the Gem Mint 10 Grade. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Gotta say, whether you love them or hate them, the Hyper Rares, some of the cards, some of them, not all of them, do just 
blow the card away. Uh, and this is definitely one of those artworks. Uh, Gardevoir and Sylveon. Next with the Gem Mint 10 Grade. And then a Loan's Volpix. Loads of Volpix and Ninetales in your collection now. It would be pretty cool to see how many you actually have. Uh, and then we do have another stack. So we're going to start off with the English Latios and Latias. I say that the wrong way around every time. Mint 9, Salamance Spirit Link. I sent a load of Groud on Spirit Links um, not too long ago. And they got the gem, so I understand why you'd send that. Um, Celebi, Nimin 8, very cool card, gold star. Reggie Rock also getting the gem mint 10 like the Reggie Steel. And then another Alolan Ninetales, reverse foil this time, so a lot harder to get the gem mint 10 in, but that is exactly the grade Cine has got. Uh, the Minim also getting the, uh, you can see a recurring trend is the gem. Uh, Minim with 3,000 experience points promo, gem mint 10. And then as soon as I say that, it had to be a mint 9, but this is still an absolutely beautiful card. It's up there with the best of the Muse, isn't it? Um, I think it is a Japanese exclusive. Maybe it's the best Japanese exclusive Mew. Maybe. I mean, please do let me know what you think about that. Cyclone Energy, Mint 9. Unfortunately, very easy to get even a hairline scratch on these. So that's just maybe just one of those. Uh, Jirachi's second season sub promo, Gem Mint 10. And you can just about see the Hall of Forwards. Very faint. Um, Celebi, Gem Mint 10, that, that Hall of Fall's got a bit more sparkle about it there. And um, that's the second season subscription promo. Oh, just trying to focus in, but the camera didn't want to do that. Um, and then we have this beautiful Mint 9 boost energy, Mint 9. Gem Mint 10 on the warp energy. Uh Beautiful, beautiful card. I did want to just show you this because it looks like the Star Wars warp engines. <laughs> oh, God. How geeky am I? Um, uh, Alolan Vulpix Gem Mint 10 Ultra Shiny GX. Look at that effect. How cool is that? Gem Mint 10. Same effect on the Alolan v Nine Tails. I don't even know what effect you'd call that. How cool is that? Very cool. Um... Rayquaza GX with the Gem Mint 10 from Ultra Shiny, and then the Alolan Vulpix to end it. Um, the Holofall, absolutely stunning. Thank you very much to Cine, long time sender, uh, and these cards will be on the way back to you very soon. Alex is next, and Alex is a collector who sent just his cards from his uh, binder when he was a child, uh, so it's more of a remembrance thing for him um so the grades aren't always the highest however i truly do respect a true collector who just sends in their cards for memories um as a child and what a way to start with the mashamp first edition excellent five near mint seven pokedex jolteon with the near mint eight very cool artwork indeed then we got the Mankey from jungle with the mint nine it's really cool to actually see all the different artworks so you sometimes you do forget them because you're always so used to the higher end tier cards and it is really cool to go back and just remember the cards that you had as a child uh the dragonite near mint eight cloister i really used to love this guy with the near mint seven these are all first edition as well the graveler with the mint nine grade there Amastar near mint eight first edition Geodude, Mint 9, first edition. And then last with the excellent Mint 6. Alex has got plenty of more stacks to go. So we've got the Pokemon Flute with the near Mint 8. Then we move on to his Holofoils from base set. So your Blastoise achieved the excellent 5. The Chansey got the near Mint 7 grade. Uh, your Charizard did get the poor one, unfortunately. Um, I did message you before. You did know it was going to get this grade, um, as you can see from the back. However, I'll tell you what, the poor one isn't actually the worst grade you could have got. These are actually quite a lot in demand, strangely. People kind of like getting cool cards in poor one condition. No idea why, personally. Um, let me move on to the French card. Naming eight. Then we've got another Mewtwo with a poor one, unfortunately. Not in as bad condition, I must say, as the Charizard. Very good free, a grade we hardly ever see come through the service on your first edition Snorlax. 
This is a cool card actually. This is a card I want to add to my own collection uh, and that is the Butter Free and it is the D edition error. As you can see where the first edition spot is, it seems to be a D instead of a 1. Um, I'm looking to add a Gem Mint 10 to my collection soon. Uh, Dodrio Mint 9 from Jungle. Firo Mint 9 from Jungle. Need Arena first edition name in 8. Persian with the name in 8 grade. That was unlimited this time. Rapidash first edition name in 8. Rhydon looks like he's charging at you. You wouldn't want to be in the way of him. And then we got this beautiful Weeping Bell with the mint 9 grade. Two more stacks to go. So we're going to start off with the Kabuto name in 8. Then we got the Krabby, near mint 8. So now we move on to the Fossil set. Slowpoke with the mint 9. Nice and simple artwork, but very memorable. Um, and then we got an excellent mint 6 on your Dark Alakazam Team Rocket. Dark Blastoise with the mint 9 grade. One of my favourite Blastoise arts there. Dark Flareon engulfed in flames. Very similar to the Dark Charmeleon artwork from Rocket as well. I think they got a bit lazy with that one. Uh, Grimer, Nimin 8. Then we got another poor one grade. So that is your Charizard base set 2 Hollow 4 this time. Um, and that one really is wrecked. But I tell you what, how cool is it there? I'd imagine that A is yourself, Alex. Really cool to see that you're getting these encapsulated. Uh, might only be the poor one grade, but it is yours. Um, and for sentimental reasons, that was the word I've been searching for this entire one, this entire submission. For sentimental reasons, uh, that is stunning, isn't it? Really cool to see him, actually, because you just don't see him very often. Rocket Cypher poor one. The reason for this poor one was because of the creases on the card. Really difficult to show. Oh, there we go. There you go. If you shine it in the light. Uh, so that's the reason why that one got the poor one. The Blaine's Growlithe with the Mint 9 grade, first edition. And then Brock's Geo Dude, first edition, Mint 9. Lieutenant Surge's Raticate with the Mint 9 grade. Beautiful. Misty's Polywell from Jim Heroes, name in eight. Misty's Starmie, mint nine, first edition. Brock's Mankey, name in eight, first edition. Brock's Onyx, name in eight, first edition from Jim Heroes. Brock's Sandshrew, mint nine. Beautiful card with the sunset there. Belaine's Vulpix, mint nine, first edition. Seeking, name in eight, first edition, jungle. Same with the Eevee. Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite, Mint 9. Grass Energy from Jim Heroes, Mint 9. Unknown H from Neo Destiny, 1st Edition, Mint 8. And then to end it on, a Charizard from the Japanese Basic, Mint 7. Not bad at all. Uh, so thank you, Alex, for using Graded Gem. And yeah, I hope your collection is safe and secure now. Last but not least is Gaspar, and Gaspar has sent away a load of sports cards. Um, so we're actually going to start off with Goran Dragic. How cool is this? This has actually got his autograph in the card. Uh, so if you are a sports card fan, stick around because there's plenty more to see. Uh, Goran Dragic with the red autograph, Gem Mint 10. Uh, I know that some of these cards are worth a ridiculous amount of money. Um, uh, Goran Dragic again, Gem Mint 10. From 2009, Goran Dragic again, rookie standouts, Gem Mint 10. You've done so well here, Gaspar, there's no doubt about it. Marco Milic, Gem Mint 10 from Phoenix Suns from 1997. Not bad at all. Uh, Luka Donic, NBA Prospects, Mint 9. Really cool, look at that. Wow. Um, Luka Donic, Astro. Gem Mint 10. Luka Donic, Groove. Gem Mint 10. Look how cool that looks. Um, Luka Donich Revolution. You have no idea how long it took me to uh, find all the different types. Uh, and that was Gem Mint 10 as well. Luka Donich NBA Pros. Magnetic Fur Gem Mint 10. Rookie Ink. So that means he's actually signed it as well. How cool is that, man? Um, Luka Donich. Definitely a favourite of Gaspers, I must say. Uh, but he's also coming in with the gem, gem, jemmy gems. Uh, and that is why we're called Grady Gem, for the exact reason of this. Luka Donich, green prism, gem mint 10. Then we move on to the rainbow foil from gem mint 10, Real Madrid. Uh, 
We got another one of those. Do we? I think. I think if memory serves me correctly, we have a few, a few, a few, a few of those. When I say a few, I mean, uh, wow, a massive chunk of them. And you know what? Every single one achieved the gem mint ten grade. Uh, Gasper, you have done absolutely extraordinary. Uh, so well done there. Then we got Mr. Messi himself. Uh, I do remember saying, actually, he, they'd just beaten us 3-0 uh, in the new Camp when these were submitted. Um, and now we all know that Liverpool made it back 4-0, so I'm very happy about that, personally. Uh, so we got mint nines on those two. And then the last stack of the entire return for, uh, is from Gaspar as well. So we're going to start off with Messi, mint nine. Now we move back to Luka Donic, so rookie revolution, gem mint ten. NBA Hoops, Grogan Dragic, Mint 9. Leona Messi, so that's his actual signature, Mint 9. World Cup signature. You've done That is an amazing card to have his actual signature. Really cool. Uh, wow. Uh, Luka Donic, Rainbow Foil again. And again, this one did get the Mint 9, though, unfortunately. And this one got the Mint 9. That's not good. But Luka Donic, Hot Signatures, Rookies, Mint 9. Gem Mint 10 on the Mojo Prism. Really cool back effect there on the card. Uh, sensational Signatures. Again, another signature. Gem Mint 10. Uh, Mr. Leonel Messi himself, the Campion. So you've got the, uh, the Barcelona region. Um, and then you have the Spanish for some reason. Well, not for some reason. Um, you have different. They've got different sorts of Spanish. Um, so you've got Campion. And another one, Autografo, is also a bit different to the other one. Um, so that's the Mint 9. Can't exactly remember what they are. Gem Mint 10 off the top of my head. Gem Mint 10 there. Gem Mint 10 again, really cool. Excellent to Mint 6. That's not acceptable. Leonel Messi, how dare he? Gem Mint 10. Leonel Messi's only Mint 9 or Gem Mint 10. Uh, Mega Cracks. No, don't want to say that in a room with too many people. Nimin 8 on this one. Luka Donich autograph again with the Mint 9 grade. Panini Contenders. Gem Mint 10 on the next one, though. How many, do they actually just sign all these cards? Or, I don't know. They must do, mustn't they? They really must. Uh, Luka Donich Domrus Panini. Gem Mint 10. And again, rated rookie. Gem Mint 10. NBA Pros Magnetic Fur. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Gem Mint 10. Rookie domination signatures. I'm getting tired of saying gem. I'm not going to lie. And we are graded gem. And I'm getting tired of saying it. And yet again. And we are going to finish off this entire submission with Luka Donich. Um, everyone who took part in this submission, uh, I just want to say a massive thank you. Really do appreciate uh, you taking the time to send with graded gem. Um, and yeah, I really hope you're all happy with the returns. Otherwise, guys, you know what that means. Yes, that's right. I'm going to leave it to the outro. See you later, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell button and go and follow our social media. Oh, and don't forget gradedgem.com. Thanks, guys.